hello you guys welcome back to another video slash episode on this channel slash podcast thank you so much whether you are listening or watching welcome today i'm making a video that is long overdue i'm honestly surprised i haven't made a video like this before because if you follow me on tiktok i post my poetry sometimes I talk a lot, especially in like that December era. Why do I feel like everybody was going through it last December? Um, on TikTok and stuff, like my other platforms, I'm always reflecting on what I've learned. And I'm surprised I haven't made a video yet about my biggest lesson in my young life. I mean, I've definitely touched on it in other videos, but today I just really want to highlight it. I remember I lost my mind at 19 years old. I'm 21, by the way. When I realized that you have to release control and you have to let people be who they are. <gasps> Shocker. I know, right? Like, it's crazy. I'm a Scorpio. I'm all about control. What do you mean it's not in my control? What do you mean there's nothing I can do? <laughs> like, what? Let people be who they are. I feel like a lot of young people, especially, I feel like for, we forget that we have free will. We literally have free will. I feel like so many people dating in the young dating world go after people who we don't really want, who we want to change, or people that we think we want, but we really don't. And I feel like that is what makes all the games and the that's like how the whole cycle keeps going. I say I lost my mind when I realized this at 19 because 19, well, I had just turned 19 when my first love relationship ended. I was like starting my second year out of high school and I had my first ever heartbreak, worst breakup of my life, one of the worst pains I've ever felt. And like a lot of young girls or just young people in general, when you're in a relationship and you love someone for the first time, you just want so badly for that person to be the one. And that was me. I was like, well, if I tell him this a million times or I tell him this hurts me a million times or I say this or I say that a million times, like it has to go through his head and he has to start listening. That was like my logic. And as you can probably tell by the way it turned out, that was not the case. Me crying about this stuff, yelling about this stuff, talking calmly about my issues and how I just want to treat better, be treated better, and I wanted him to be honest with me and I wanted that. It didn't change anything. Like you would think that like the pain of someone you love would make you change. And I don't think that means that people don't necessarily love you i just think that some people are so stuck in their ways it doesn't matter like people change when they want to not when you want them to oh that was a rough one to learn i feel like i used to live in like this fairy tale mindset of like if someone really cares they will change but like it's that's so not true like if it's like or not that they don't care that someone like if they really love you they'll change i don't think love always equates to care because people are so stuck in their own ways in their own trauma and all this but when i finally accepted that i feel like i had a weight lifted up off my shoulders if you have ever read the four agreements highly recommend this is the read i read when i was depressed when I had the most terrible self-worth in the world because I thought because someone didn't change or like choose to change for me, I thought like, oh, there's something wrong with me or I'm just not worth anything. I read the four agreements. Mm. Agreement number, I don't remember because it was like two years ago. Don't take anything personal. And I feel like this agreement isn't saying that you never do anything wrong and you're never in the wrong. That's not at all what it means. But a lot of times, like, it isn't about you. People have so much trauma. Like, I don't know how many times I've been friends with someone. I've been in a relationship with someone. And I would just, like, when they would do crazy stuff or say crazy stuff, like, especially after reading that book, well, probably only after reading that book when I realized that, I would just be like... <laughs> I know exactly why you're saying that. Like, I know exactly why you're acting out on me because I'm like, it's not me. 
is because this happened when you're a child or it's because your last partner did this. Like I can literally, I can read you. What's up? I'll never forget when I made a video about boundaries on my TikTok and a comment that I got from a man. <laughs> I was talking about like how I don't understand why people judge other people's boundaries because like what it's literally your life um you can date whoever you want you can date people who do stuff that you're okay with like what what do you look like dating someone who like won't do something that you want like there's too many people out there for that and I basically said how like I would never date one of those people talking about oh private not a secret like I'll never post you I would never date someone like that because in my mind I want to be posted i want to be showed off and i deserve that and i do the same to a partner like i was just explaining that in the video and i got a comment from a man he was like people like you like are gonna be single forever that's such a dumb reason to not date someone and i'm just like that's actually crazy because i don't want to date you <laughs> like whoever said it would be you you're not in my life but it's just like it's so weird because like letting people be who they are comes with pain but it also comes with liberation like i ran into men who have said crazy stuff where i automatically was like oh no i'm not dating you people who think a talking stage is six months people who wouldn't post you people who wouldn't do this it's like why would i even give someone like that the chance like i'm not here to change you like i'm not going to give someone the benefit of the doubt and then date them and then months in i'm literally so sad and crying and stuff because they won't post me or they won't do this like they people literally tell you who they are so it's like why would I gamble when this is my life and I should date someone exactly what I want 19 year old Alicia couldn't see it but like if I could talk to her back then I would literally say that like it is so liberating to know your worth and let people be who they are and leave them where they're at because literally, like, no matter how much it hurts, obviously, it's not easier said than done when you love someone, whether that's legit, like your parent, your partner, your friend. It's like whoever you let be who they are, if who they are is not like up to par with what you deserve, you're literally taking out the trash, like not, not calling people, not trying to compare people to that. But like you're one step closer when you release to the people who are going to respect your boundaries, who are going to respect you, who are going to treat you how you want to be treated. And it's way easier said than done, obviously. I haven't got to that point in a relationship sense. I'm still single. But I know that every time I let people be who they are and I leave them where they're at rather than settle and be unhappy, I know I'm doing myself a service even if I can't reap the benefits in the physical realm yet. To any other lover girls like me, just know if you like consider this advice with whoever you're dealing with, whether it's a friend, your family member, a partner, like you'll realize how much less drained you are when you let people be who you who they are. Because like it literally drains you. It takes so much to over explain yourself to repeat yourself over and over again and i also just want to say the process of this can also be really hard to because let's be honest like i used to always be like i don't understand why people can't just be honest why they can't just say how they feel like because me personally i've always been such an outspoken person who's never really had trouble doing that until i got some trauma then it's kind of hard <laughs> and i get it now but like i understand because this world is so inauthentic, it's so people-pleasing that sometimes literally, like the society we're bred into, like being authentic and being unapologetically like yourself and honest can be like shamed a lot. Like sometimes in these situations where I've been single for over a year and in these talking stages, like I let people be who they are. Maybe sometimes I'll try to let them more than once you know i'm a certified lover girl certified uh therapist without a degree <laughs> and sometimes i really do just want to like give people a chance because i'm like hmm but what if they do this this and this um yeah but when i have had enough and i decide like no like i'm over this i and i tell people like yeah i stopped talking to him because of this because he didn't do this because he didn't apologize because he this like some people 
are like, that's too harsh. Like, you don't even give people a chance. Da, 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 da. But it's like, I did though, but I'm just not willing to settle. This kind of touches on my most viral video, The Power of Silence, if you want to check this out. But I also feel like letting people be who they are, like, is an eye opener to a lot of people. Because I feel like every time I've gave up on someone, I finally chose myself and I just accept people for where they're at. But it's just it's not good enough for me. Like, almost, like literally almost every time I do that and I stand on business, I tell them why I'm done talking. I tell them why I'm over it, like wish you the best, but it's just not for me. Almost every one of those people always pops back up later wanting to change and see like that's what i mean when it's like people don't change when you want them to they change when they want to and so when they see i'm serious then they're then they're serious about the change but where where was that energy the first time oh, okay another thing i want to add about like this lesson that i've learned is i also understand people are human so like i mean well i'm not telling you what to do girl boy non-binary person you can do whatever you want but like I also understand people are human, like they can't read your minds. So it's like if someone is showing you something you don't like, that's not like too deeply rooted about their personality that they may just be oblivious of. Like, I feel like some things you have the chance to tell people like, I didn't like this, please don't do this again, or do this next time instead of do that. And like, I think especially when it's someone you don't really know like people deserve grace because they can't always read your mind but that's the thing is like after you said it you don't need to say it again you don't need to say it again because then that's when you're not letting people be who you who they are because you keep telling them and you keep like teaching them or trying to whatever and then it's not changing so it's just showing like they're going to be who they are regardless but it's going to be draining you to try to make them someone they're not you know, when I was younger, I also remember that I feel like I used to have like so much resentment towards like people who hurt me. And I'm not saying I was rightfully so I rightfully so had like negative feelings towards people who did negative things to me. But I've also learned with like letting people be who you who they are is that sometimes just because a friend or a guy or whatever is not for me doesn't necessarily mean it's bad like i've left situations so gracefully this past year learning so much about myself and how i love in my past and going through abuse and stuff where i'm just like like the four agreements said like don't take everything personal like i know so many people are fighting so many demons that we have no idea about or maybe they have no idea about that sometimes they're just so oblivious and i just like leave it at that that it's like i can't help you i can't save you but like i hope they find that help and stuff that doesn't mean they're like a terrible person or whatever some people are but i think i, I think i've gotten better at grace and forgiveness and y'all know that's hard for me as a scorpio because what you got me fucked up i think that this video could have been all over the place <laughs> As it kind of is when I just talk with no script and straight from the heart, but I think it's like the best way to go about it. But in the grand scheme of things, let people be who they are, because although it can be painful, it can also be very liberating because when you're able to finally accept the truth about people and let people be who they are, like you're opening yourself up to opportunities for people who you won't have to ask you won't have to cry over you won't have to keep telling and that's just like life and the process is long trust me it's long like i said i'm still single to this day um yeah literally the last time i was in a committed relationship it was abusive so it's very hard for me to see past like oh yes one day someone will be for me and it can be love without that without abuse and i haven't seen it yet i haven't experienced it yet but i i know it's out there and leaving my abuser was the first step hello i ate that i kind of did <laughs> but i think letting people be who they are it's not just about love um because i've experienced 
many positive things in this past year is beyond relationships. I've experienced really genuine friendships, healing family relationships. That is one thing I noticed is like, I used to have a really like bad relationship with a family member um, that really contributed to how I felt when I had to accept this lesson at 19. I had to accept a family member for who they are and just leave it at that. And I had to accept my ex-boyfriend, right, for who they are and just leave it, choose myself. But literally in the family sense, when I chose myself and I just decided to stop over explaining and stop trying all these things that are just like draining me and making me feel like shit. Literally two years later, it was able to mend itself on its own. Um, because I chose to let go and stop trying and choose myself. And then lo and behold, a few years later, it was able to mend like naturally without me having to like, you know, so that is just like a perfect example to just remember that, like to let people be who they are, choose yourselves, because you, you never know how it could turn out later. Don't always bet on that. When you leave people who they at, <laughs> when you let people be who they are and you leave them where you're at, you can't really have an expectation because you're accepting the truth. But life works in weird ways, so you never know. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for listening to another episode. Um, I hope I said something helpful um, that you can take away from this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, I would love to chat in the comments. I like talking to you guys. And I really appreciate you guys hearing me out because I'm like, what? I'm literally just yapping in my bedroom and I'm getting subscribers off of this. Like, y'all like to hear me talk? Y'all like to hear me talk? If you do, I have a whole channel full of videos. So you may as well like and subscribe to this channel. But once again, thank you guys for making it to the end of an episode. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> Bye.